What's good everybody? Reds here. Tonight's soap review is going to feature Tallow and Steel Morocco. As you all know, uh, Tallow and Steel is one of my uh, favorite artisans. They're a top artisan in the uh, wet shaving community based out of uh, Canada, Winnipeg to be exact. They're known for their organic ingredients, bold and daring scents, and they're uh, giving back to the uh, community in terms of uh, the portion of every sale goes to benefit a charity um, that's named or that, or that is based on the uh, theme of the soap that they uh, sell. They're available directly from their website, which I'll link below. And uh, also, if you're in the U.S., you can grab them at uh, maggotrazors.com. All right, so the uh, scent here on Morocco is uh named after obviously the country of morocco specifically the atlas mountains of morocco uh, where there's fields of wild roses growing on the uh, mountainside um the notes are rose oak moss cedar cade and cypress and uh <clears throat> to my nose the uh, smoky cade dominates the scent. Um, somewhat unfortunate in my opinion because I get a mostly cade um, with some earth tones from the oak moss and the cedar and cypress. Uh, and the rose is way, way, way in the background for me. Uh, almost non-existent, if you will. Um, so... If you're a non-rose lover, but you like smoky, earthy scents, um, at least my interpretation of this, you don't have to worry about smelling the rose at all. The um, <clears throat> scent strength on this is strong, both off of the sample, and it remains strong as you build your lather and uh, proceed with your shave. And similarly scented soaps in the market, um, perhaps Mike's Naturals Rose and Cedarwood or the L.A. Shaving Company Black Rose. All right. Uh, soap base is tallow based and of... I'd call it medium consistency. It's not overly soft, but it's not a a really hard soap. Loads easily into the brush. No issues with that. Um, likes water, but it's not overly thirsty. And uh, the consistency of the lather when properly hydrated and dialed in is somewhere between meringue and Cool Whip. Um, has a sheen to it, but not a really overly shiny sheen. I'm not sure if it comes through on the camera or not. I tend to think it doesn't because of the lighting in here. Slickness is good. Very good, I should say. Uh, and the real star for me with tallow and steel soaps is its post shape. Uh, probably among the, uh, top five to ten post shaves in the, uh, soap market the overall shave score I would give this soap is a 90 which puts it in the class of uh, soap bases such as Australian Private Reserve as well as uh, Oleo Soapworks vegan base all right folks we're back uh, excellent shave with Tello and Steel Morocco um, I expected it based on the soap base. I've used it several times before. Um, as you'll recall, Himalaya wasn't really for me. This one's probably not really for me. Uh, but Boreal was uh, quite nice. And that's the one I'm probably going to pick up a set of. I have one more in the uh, series to review. Uh, oh, I did review Maya as well. And uh, unfortunately, that one wasn't for me either. But uh, 
look forward to reviewing the West Coast IPA here in the future. I have a uh, set that was piffed to me by my good friend Yak, so uh, that'll that'll be coming in the next uh, month or so. So check out Tallow and Steel if you're uh, interested in their sense. Uh, they represent a uh, great Canadian artisan and a uh, good value in the wet shaving community. As always, thumbs up the video if you like it. Comment below if you have anything to say, and if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. See ya.